Hey everybody and thanks for tuning in. I am a little off today because I haven't done a recording in so long. I have been really disconnected because I've been focusing on my art projects and just trying to progress myself as an artist and nerd and all kinds of deep geekery. <laughs> and um, I was on Game Jolt and I saw all kinds of um, really cool interesting games, but this one definitely caught my eye because I grew up with Pokemon. I can't think of a person that I know of that has not grown up with Pokemon. So I played this game on my laptop, but it did crash after I left the city. So I'm hoping now that I'm on my desktop, now that I have more hardware to work with than my little my little laptop, that maybe it won't crash on me this time. But, you know, who knows? All I can say is that this game is pretty good because they wanted to take the Pokemon game that we know and love and put it in a 3D environment. They used the Minecraft uh, system to create it. And um, so far, it's, it's it's very impressive. I want to see more, but um, there I, I don't know. The, they're still working on it. I'm going. There are two different links that you can download this game. There's the main website, and then there's the Game Jolt site. And you can use your Game Jolt account and link it to this game, and you actually get achievements and such and such. I haven't gotten that far, so I can't really tell you what you can and can't unlock. I'm so I'm just gonna go straight for the game. I'm playing the game offline. Apparently, you can play it online with other players. I think that's really cool. Anyway, enough talk. We're gonna get straight to the game. Hello. Sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People call me Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited by creatures that we call. Pokemon! People and Pokemon live together by supporting each other. Some people play with Pokemon, some battle with them. But we don't know everything about Pokemon yet. My acting is horrible. There are still many mysteries to solve. That's why I study Pokemon every day. Now, what did you say your name was? Okay, well I didn't get to tell you my name. Alright, now, so uh, so here's the first part about the game that I do like. You get to choose um, what you want your character to look like. Hello, they added a new one it looks like. At least I think so, I don't know. Been a little while since I played. Um, see, on my laptop I went with, with this guy right here. And I am kinda wanna go with this guy, but I think because it seems more accurate, I wanna go with this one. Alright, I'll just go ahead and type my name. So your name is Michael. Michael, are you ready? Your very own Pokemon story is about to unfold. You'll face fun times and tough challenges. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go! I'll be seeing you later! Alright. So here we are. Holy crap! Okay, the, uh, I just want to make I just want to note that even though the game is vi like they took the Minecraft system and made this game, I just want to point out that the controls are very wonky. They need to fix that um, as soon as possible. It's a note on the wall about the donators of this game. Oh, okay, the donators. Well, thank you for for supporting this game. All right, so we're going down the stairs. Oh, Michael! Our neighbor, Professor Elm, was looking for you! He said he wanted you to do something for him. Oh, I almost forgot! Your Pokemon gear is back from the repair shop! Here you go! Michael received Poke Gear! Pokemon Gear or just Poke Gear? It's essential if you want to be a good trainer. By the way, do you know how to use the phone? Okay, we went from the Poke Gear to the phone. Um. Yes, I know how to use the phone. It, here's the funny thing about all uh, the Pokemon. This game is loosely based off po the Pokemon Silver and Gold versions. In Pokemon Silver and Gold, no matter what, whether you say yes, I know how the phone works or no, she'll tell you anyway. So I'm going to tell her yes, and you'll see what I mean. I'm sure you know that you can open it by pressing Q. Phone numbers are stored in memory. Just choose a name you want to call. Gee, isn't that convenient? Also, here is my number. 
Michael received mom's number! I don't know why I... I'm just, I'm just moving on. Okay, somehow I went to third person view. Which I actually like. I do like the third person view. Okay. But it makes the controls a little more wonky than they already were. <laughs> um... Okay, uh, actually, I actually, it's better with the direction pad now that I'm noticing that the using the stick was a lot more annoying. Okay, well, actually, this is not. This is actually a little bit better. This feels a little more like the Game Boy version now. Uh, but but allow, I would much prefer. There we go. Oh yeah, there's a free camera version or whatever. Let's see, how, how does the free camera mode work? Oh yeah, I get to look around my character. So here we are in wherever the freak this town is. I can't remember. What was this town's name again? Anyone recall? This is based off Pokemon Gold and Silver. Um, New Bark Town. Okay, the town where the winds of a new beginning blow. Yeah. Well, anyway, I think it's fascinating that they mixed 3D graphics with the original graphics, and it's just, it is really, it is really well done. I do like that, but there are some things about this game, other than the wonky controls, that are not perfect. I definitely want to see improvement on this game. This is definitely a really big, um, really big thing. Where the freak is Professor Helm's lab? Uh, this is gonna get annoying fast, I know it. Okay. This ain't it. This is some little blonde girl's house. Okay. Can I read the sign from the side? Nope. Of course not. Elm's house. Okay, so Elm lives here, but this is not his lab. Where is his lab? Wait, is his lab right there? And is my house right there? No, nope, this is my house. So this must be Elm's lab right here, I hope. Wait, is there somebody over here? Oh, it's the it's your rival peeking in on Elm's lab. Can you talk can I talk to him? Hmm. So this is the famous Elm Pokemon lab. I I don't think I can do his voice justice. What are you staring at? <laughs> so he somehow pushes me. Okay. What are you staring at? I just pictured an annoying person considerably. Hello, Elm! Michael! There you are! Hello, Professor Elm. Might I say, you look like you're partially balding today. I need to ask you a favor. I have an acquaintance called Mr. Pokemon. I just spat on the screen. Hold up. I have an acquaintance called Mr. Pokemon. He keeps finding weird things and raving about his discoveries. Anyway, I just got an email from him saying that this time it saying that this time it's for real. It is intriguing, but we were busy with our Pokemon research. Could you look into it for us? I'll give you a Pokemon for a partner. Yay, we now we get to have a Pokemon. All right, I didn't read all that, but essentially it just said there are 3 Pokemon Rare Pokemon on the table, pick one. Well, of course, I know which one I'm going to go with. There's Cyndaquil. Pokemon of Silver and Gold were some of my favorite games. I, that, um, that probably is one. There's the guy I wanted. Um, Totodile. Yep. All right. All right, rename Totodile. Back in the old Pokemon Red and Blue um, and Yellow days, I would take um, Bulbasaur and I would always name him Sub-Zero. The reason for this is that um, the Water-type Pokemon can also learn Ice-type moves, which makes it an ideal for when you're going against Fire or Plant-type. Um, so out of all three of them, I always choose the Water-type. And since we have Totodile and not um, Squ... Um, Squirtle. I'm just gonna go ahead and call Totodile Sub-Zero, even though he is a crocodile type Pokemon. Okay. Confirm. Confirm, damn you. What? <laughs> Sub-Zero A? <laughs> no! No! <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. My Pokemon's now Sub-Zero A. 
for no damn reason. My Pokemon lives near Cherry. Mr. Pokemon lives near Cherry Grove, the next city. It's almost a direct route to there. If your Pokemon is hurt, you should heal it with this machine. Feel free to use it at any time. Michael, I'm counting on you. Well, I would much rather just keep going than go back just to rename my Pokemon, because i would not started over again from here. Michael, I want you to have this for your errand. Receive the potion. M Michael stored the medicine in the pocket. Pocket, yeah. There are only two of us, so we're always busy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me, my throat is beginning to go out here. My, um, my throat is beginning to dry up. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah, now Tototile's following me. Hey, Toads! Oh, well, I'm calling your Sub-Zero A now, aren't you? Your Pokemon has a flower petal on its face. Why does my Pokemon have a flower petal on its face? That's just weird. Okay. Moving right along. Alright, so I'm hoping to see some improvement because I did play this on my laptop. And so far... Fuck, the fans are going. Wild Sentry appeared. Go Sub-Zero A! <laughs> Alright, so this is basically how the battle uh, works. I am using a 360 controller, by the way. I'm not using the keyboard and mouse to hell with that. Um, I much prefer using a, a controller. Some PC gamers much prefer using a mouse and keyboard. Y you get what I mean. So anyway, this is basically what the battle looks like. I wish the developer would create 3D models of the Pokemon, but it's not that bad. It's actually, um, it's actually pretty good with what they did so far. But like I said, I want to see more. Sub-Zero used Scratch. And all you see is the battle damage. Which, again, I want to see more. I want to see some actual animation when the Pokemon are fighting each other. That's my Sub-Zero A, yeah. That's my only main complaint with this, um, with what they've done so far in this game. Is that there's no animation for the battle damage. There's just, um, Sub-Zero uses Scratch. And then we defeat Sentry. Sub-Zero gained 20 experience. Other than that, though, I'm, like, really, I am pretty impressed. I would, I would be perfectly content, though, if there was, um, at least a little bit of the 2D um, animation in this. That'd be even better. Okay, alright, see, in the white letters right down here, I just now noticed this, and I almost completely forgot about it. It says, battle system is not final, so the battle system is going to improve. That I'm glad about. Alright, I can't capture any Pokemon right now, but I can at least gain some experience. So if I grind and um, things, I get to some pretty boring parts, then um, I'll just edit it, I guess. Alright, now, I have spent literally hours getting frustrated at this part. You guys could say what you want, but I was getting upset. I was like, why can't I get around here? Because I'm trying to get to the next city. And then after a while of, and I mean this, after hours of trying to figure it out, I've, I was like, um, and yes, I knew about this part up here, this spot up here too. And then I looked back, I'm like, I don't want to go all the way back, and I was pissed. But then, I found out that, um, going back, oh, okay, there's actually some sort of bump that you can't see in 3D that was there in the overhead two-dimensional plane that let you progress forward and you knew where you were going almost like a maze but you're not in that view you're in the um uh first and third view in this game sub-zero a you scratch go sub-zero a Fidgy fainted you know it'd be perfect if i ever do get level six huzzah sub-zero learned water gun which is cool and all but there's no animation for it yet Alright, so I did not know this part was right here. I kept freaking out and not seeing this bump right there. So now I know that I have to go through... Ooh, hello, I see a potion thing. Hello, potion thing. Snatch. Michael found a potion. Michael stored it in his medicine pocket. Yay! Okay. Another Pidgey, Sub-Zero A. Alright, hopefully...
Hopefully we don't die in this fight. Use tackle. I forgot to save, didn't I? Okay, well, I will definitely save in the next bout. But first, I got another potion. So, yep, there we go. Drink it up. There we go. At least, no, he does. they don't drink... When they say potions, you think they drink the potion to heal. But in all the an in the animation I've seen and anything Pokemon related, the it's either a spray or and it's an injection. I like to imagine it's an injection. I can't imagine a potion like spray him with potion. <laughs> all better now, and the bottle's already gone. I don't know. I don't know any. I don't know anything about the Pokemon universe except for what. <laughs> I'm just gonna shut up now. I'm gonna shut up now before I sound really, really stupid. Cause I do know I do know a lot of the Pokemon games. I loved them, but I don't read too much into it. They were just fun games. That's all they were. Yay! Twenty experience. Oh! All right. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and press X on the controller right above the A, the X button. And I'm going to go ahead and save. Saved game. Awesome. But for the most part, I really do like what the developers done so far with this game. And I definitely I definitely want to see more. I want to see this game continue to be worked on and developed because I love the game. We're getting straight to the we're getting close to the part where it crashed on me. All right. All right. Awesome. All right, here we go. We're now right at the part where it glitched at me. I'm saving it just in case. I, I I'm not risking it. Screw that mess. All right, come on, please don't crash. Oh, okay, it didn't. So far, it hasn't. Huzzah. All right. You're a rookie trainer, aren't you? I can tell. <laughs> That's okay. Everyone is a rookie at some point. Okay, first off, let me just say this right now. As, as far as I can tell, your character is as old as the Ash character. That means your character is probably around 10 years old. And a creepy old man comes over like... You're a rookie trainer, aren't you? <laughs> you know I have some popsicles in my basement. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It's a little funny that a creepy old man just comes up to you. Well, you... you. In this case, I talked with him. So it has no relevance because I talked with him. He didn't come up to me and start asking me questions. I actually came up to him and he asked me. He said to me, "I was, I'm a rookie trainer, aren't I?" I take all that back. Then everyone is a rookie at some point. If you'd like, I could teach you a few things. <laughs> yeah, I could teach you a few things. Okay, then follow me into my basement. <laughs> okay, I, I'm pretty. This is pretty wrong. This is the Pokemon Center. They heal your Pokemon in no time at all. You'll be relying on them a lot, so you better learn about them. This is the Pokemon Mart. They sell balls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. They sell balls for catching wild Pokemon. And the other useful items. <laughs> and other useful items. <laughs> Route 30 is out this way. Trainers will be battling their prize Pokemon there. This is the sea, as you can see. Some Pokemon are found only in water. I'm beginning to sound like Rolf from Ed and Eddie. Here's a fur. Here is my house. Thanks for your company. I wish you luck on your journey. Okay. Wasn't he supposed to give me a map or something? 
for him giving me a tour of the city? Okay, I'm gonna go back and talk with him. Hey, aren't you supposed to give me a map? I... <laughs> so... I had to go back inside the house to ask him for the freaking map! I have a little gift for you because you listened to my instructions. Receive the running shoes. Running shoes? Are you freaking serious? Ugh. Those are running shoes. I will read out the manual. Hold shift to run. Go out and explore the world. I hope those are useful to you. I don't need them anymore. Aren't you supposed to give me a map? When I was a wee lad, I was a hot shot trainer. Here's a word of advice. Catch lots of Pokemon. No shit. Treat them all with kindness. Okay, alright, okay, okay. Alright. I'm still got that voice in my head. I don't know why. So, no Pokemap! Fantastic. So, how can I run with the controller? Oh, it's the B button. Okay. Alright, so yes, I can run now. Alright. Well, anyway, guys. I'm just gonna go ahead and heal my Pokemon and save. And we'll continue this all in another episode, I guess. Alright. I'll just, uh, heal my Pokemon. There's even- there's not even a ball animation. Are you serious? Anyway, that was Pokemon 3D, and I, re I really want to see more. I want to see this game continue development, and I definitely want to keep coming back to it. Um, I also want to point out, you guys have probably noticed, I got my green screen up, or a green screen up. I had a friend, Jimmy Rig, a green screen, a bit of the green screen construction paper from when we do the Let's Play videos. So, yay! You guys don't have to worry about seeing my living room in the backdrop anymore. And, uh, yeah, that's just one of the few improvements that I want to keep making on my channel. And it's, um, it, I'm def, I'm really happy that we finally, um, finally getting some stuff out of the way and starting to make some improvements. Anyway, I really appreciate you guys coming back to watching one of my videos. Thank you guys so much. I'm the MK Nut. You guys take care. Bye bye.